My name is Sophia, and I'm really excited to bring you yet another dive stream. And so is the Argentine public. The live cast of the submarine robot exploring the Mar del Plata Canyon, 4,500 meters beneath the ocean surface, has been broadcast since last week, reaching over 1 million viewers. YouTube users have been particularly hooked by images of ethereal sea creatures, bright corals, and one star in particular, a cheeky orange starfish that users have compared to SpongeBob SquarePants character Patrick Starr. Thomas Lupi, the head of the Argentine Research Institute in charge of the expedition, is thrilled by its popularity. Nunca tuvieron un impacto semejante. They've never had such a wide outreach before. It's really huge. The fact that the replay of the streaming has more views or more viewers than most streams in Argentina is honestly crazy. A 25-person team is leading the mission from a ship above the Atlantic Ocean Canyon where they operate the robot. Viewers can discover the underwater oasis where the cold, nutrient-rich Malvinas current and the warm, salty Brazil current converge. For the first time, and at the same time as scientists do. For Lupi, the winning combination comes at a crucial moment in time. Science in Argentina is going through a really tough time, financially, in terms of support, human resources, and so on. And the fact that this is happening is like a beacon of light. Internaut's messages of long live Conicet contrast with the self described anarcho capitalist Argentine president Javier Malay's budget cuts to public spending. Conicet, the government's scientific research branch, has seen its budget reduced by 21% last year. Consequently, plunging salaries have unleashed a brain drain of the country's scientists. <laughs> 